What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm finally able to get some time to breathe and upload some content. These last 14 days have been incredibly difficult. I feel like I'm a robot. All I've been doing is studying, sleeping, eating, and kind of going to the gym. But before I get started, before we break down what life is like in dental school, when you have four quizzes and five tests in two weeks, I got a couple of announcements. First and probably the biggest is right now, pause the video. Girls, your Find Balance tank tops are live on the website. You can go order them. We ship to pretty much anywhere across the world. They are $23 a piece. Remember that each one that you guys buy, part of that will go towards funding a cleft palate surgery for a little child who can't afford it. The t-shirts were a huge success. We raised a lot more money than I thought we were going to be able to, and it was awesome being able to make that donation. So I hope we can keep it up with the girls' tank tops. I think that they came out great. Figured I'd show you instead of just talk about it. So this is the back of it. Front is plain, back just has balance going all the way down. I think they came out phenomenal. Hopefully you guys can go pick one up Rep it in the gym, rep it uh, at home, relaxing, wherever you wanna wear it. I'm super pumped and again, this is just the start of our brand. Hopefully we can continue to make it bigger and bigger and be able to impact more and more people's lives. Second announcement is I got a restock of the Fine Balance t-shirts. So the red, white, and black, we have every single size that you could want. So if you guys weren't able to order because you didn't have the proper fit, go back to the website now and you should be good to go. Okay, and our last announcement is actually a question to you guys. I am having trouble figuring out what to do with making videos since this semester is so incredibly tough. Um, would you guys prefer more frequent uploads and just have them be shorter videos, kind of like this one is gonna be? And I'm not gonna be able to do any cool edits, uh, which is what I love to do. I love to be creative with the videos, but at least if I do some of these shorter videos during my busy weeks, I can actually upload something for you guys to see so you know what's going on, so you can get a feel of what life is like when dental school feels like it's entirely taking over you as a person. So let me know down below if you guys are okay with just these smaller videos, um, trying to just do the best I can, even though they're not creative, I can't really edit to music. I think at least getting something out to you guys so you can see how hard dental school is, is probably the most important thing. So let me know down in the comments if you guys are okay with that. Now let's get back to the breakdown of just how hard some of these tests are. Okay, so up here on the board, I have broken down throughout six days how long I studied, how many hours each day I studied for just one of the five tests that I had in the past two weeks. And this was actually for a general pathology test, which no lie, was probably one of the most difficult tests that I've ever had to take in dental school up to this point. Maybe some of those early anatomy tests last year could have rivaled this, but our class took it and our average as a whole class was a 72. So that was 110 pretty smart people taking the test, putting a lot of hours into it and not doing super, super well. So to me, I knew that it was gonna be really tough. Um, pathology is something that I think is gonna be important for me going forward. Uh, in the future, so I put a lot of effort into it, and I think it's kind of an interesting subject. So all of those things kind of played uh, into my benefit, which was really nice, but let's get to the breakdown. So I actually started studying six days ahead of when this test was gonna happen on Friday. The test was on Wednesday, I took it, I started studying on Friday. That Friday, I had um, nothing really going on in the morning, so I think I studied for two hours, went to the gym, ate lunch, and then I had class till 4.30. And then I came back home, studied for another two hours, and then we had a school event. So Friday, normally I can get a, a little bit more studying in than that, but I kind of relaxed after I got in a little bit of studying after class. My main grind started on Saturday and Sunday. I spent a total of 12 hours between the two. I really didn't do anything besides go to the gym on Saturday, watch a little bit of college football, and then studied my life away. And I've actually been going to the library a little bit in these past two weeks because I've just been getting really distracted at home. I'll sit down and study and then my phone will go off and I'll check it, go on Instagram for a minute or two, that throws me off and then I'll get hungry and I'll get up and grab some food. So I've been really trying to 
focus on um, being in the library, not having any distractions, having it be dead quiet or having my ho headphones in and playing music so I can't hear anyone. I think that's re that really helped me out for um, this huge test, even though normally I just like to study here in my apartment. And then Monday came around, kind of the same schedule. I woke up, I skipped my morning classes, got about two hours of studying in, um, went to my afternoon lab classes, which I have to go to. You can't miss hand skill classes pretty much ever. Did that and then went back home and was able to study three more hours for the test and ate dinner, tried to clean up my apartment because it was getting a mess. Whenever I'm in the study grind, my apartment just gets incredibly disgusting and I just have to wait until uh, all my tests and quizzes are over. Then we have Tuesday. Tuesday, I really felt a lot of stress happening. Um, I felt like I wasn't ready, I wasn't prepared, and I was just trying to study as much as possible. But I also had a quiz that day, and I was trying to get ready for some of my other quizzes, so I didn't study as much as I wanted to. I only got in about six hours. And so Tuesday night when I went to bed, I knew I had to get up early. I think I went to bed around 10.30 and woke up at 4.30 so that I could uh, get ready as fast as I can, eat, make lunch, uh, head into school. I think I got there around 5.30 and studied from 5.30 until 10.30 nonstop, just frantically reading over everything, trying to quiz myself, making sure I had uh, all my flashcards that I made, making sure I had those all memorized, and I took the test at 10.30 on Wednesday. So that totals up to a total of 32 hours just for this one single test. And it paid off. I think I did pretty well on the test, but it was an incredibly mentally taxing week. Because um, not only did I have to do that 32 hours just to do well on this test, I also had a ton of other quizzes and those lab classes that I had to attend, so I couldn't skip those. Um, and my other tests that I had going on, um, it was just really hard to juggle all of those subjects at the same time. And one of those tests was actually a hand skills practical. We had to do some crowns. And if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, I've been really trying to focus on getting A's in my lab classes because it's been something that's been really, really tough for me. Because this test was so important and this class is, I think it's four, three or four credits and my hand skills class is only one credit, um, I have to focus more on uh, this higher credit course. So for this, for that hand skills practical, I actually didn't study one, or I didn't practice one single time outside of class, which I've never done before. Luckily, I think it went okay. Um, I We don't have our grades back yet, so I don't know, but that was something that was pretty dang risky, and I it was just something I had to do to be able to make enough time to understand all the diseases and everything that we we're going through for PATH. But that's it for this video. Uh, I know it's short, not very entertaining, but I just wanted to show you guys that dental school is hard, not only because some of the tests can be really hard, but also because you have to juggle multiple subjects, multiple quizzes, multiple tests at the same time. And I think that's something that this year is really going to challenge me on my second year of dental school. Hopefully I can uh, keep it up. I survived this last two these last two weeks and honestly, these might have been the hardest 14 days of my entire dental school career. Hopefully that was the worst of it and from here on out, it's just a little bit easier. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.